Hey, this is Pastor Kent, and this is Heaven Elohim's Sabbath message. What is the Sabbath, and what um, does it mean? Uh, is what The meaning of the Sabbath is a day of religious observation and abstinence off from work. Keep the Jews from Friday evening to Saturday evening and but the most Christians on Sunday. So The original of the Hebrew Sabbath is is seems have divided from the word Sabbath, meaning to stop and cease or keep this. The theological meaning of the root of God's rest following the six days of creation. <coughs> the Greek noun Sabbath or Sabbaton translates the Hebrew noun Sabbath. The noun form is used particularly to denote the Sabbath day of the week. It is the main occasionally referred to the Sabbath week and the end of the Sabbath the seventh Sabbath on the fifth days and the Sabbath year it is which the land was also complete from west so <coughs> that's what the Sabbath means um, we have to follow this because it's a commandment of our Lord and our El Shaddai and Elohim that we are to keep the Sabbath and keep it holy. So we have to understand this and from here on out this ministry is going to be doing a Sabbath service. <coughs> so let's have a prayer. Abba, thank you for being here with us. Bless, guide, and strengthen and keep me as I do your work and say your words and say these things in Yeshua's name. Amen. Um, If you want to know what um, God's love is, read the book of Isaiah. Um, we're going to be looking at a couple of scriptures uh, today. And what is God's love? about what is Elohim's love about what is El Shaddai's love about what is Yahweh our Messiah Yahush all about what is that love what is the love of God those who do not love do not know God because God 
is love. <coughs> 1 John 4 and 8. Deuteronomy 7 verse 9 says, For this is you who can that Adonai, <coughs> your God, is indeed God, the faithful God who keeps his covenant and extends grace to those who love him and observe his mastavat to a thousand generations. Deuteronomy 10 verse 12 says, So, Israel, all that Adonai your God asked from you is to fear Adonai your God, follow his ways, love him, and serve Adonai your God with all your heart and all your being. It, I think it probably says Matthew as well in here, Matthew 22. Deuteronomy 13 verse 4 says, You are not to listen to that of the prophet or dreamer. This is talking about false prophet that says, For Adonai your God is testing you in order to find out whether you really do love Adonai your God with all your heart and with all your being. God will not do that. Our Messiah, our El Shaddai, our Elohim will not do that. Blessed be Adonai your God who took pleasure in you to put you in on the throne of Israel because of Adonai's eternal love for Israel. <coughs> he has made you king to administrate judgment and justice fairly. First Kings 11 verse 2 says, All nations about which Adonai had said to the people of Israel, You are not to go among them or they among you, because they will turn your hearts away toward their God, small g. But Sheshemo, Sheshemo was deeply attracted to them by his love. Hosea 3 verse 1 says, Adonai said to me, Go once more and show love to his wife of yours, who has been loved by her boyfriend, and to this adulteress just as Adonai loves people of Israel, even though they turned to other gods and love and raising kings offended to them. So as you see, this is a picture of our Messiah to come. How no matter what that damage was done, because in this day and age, an adulteress was to be stoned to death. But Jose was asked to re-love his wife. And in Jose 4 verse 1, hear the word of Adonai, people of Israel, for Adonai has a grievance against the inhabitants of the land. There is no truth, no faithful love, or knowledge of God in the land. Hosea 9 verse 1 says, Do not rejoice, Israel. Do not enjoy yourselves as people do, for you have gone whoring away from your love. You love being heard as the whore of every grain floor. Malachi 6 Verse 8 says, Human beings, you have already been told what is good, what Adonai demands of you, no more than a fact, justly love, grace, and walk in purity with El Ohim. Adonai. 
Zephaniah 3 verse 17 says, Adonai, your God, is right there with you as a mighty Savior. He will rejoice you over and be glad. He will be silent in his love. He will shout over you with joy. Malachi 2 verse 11 says, Yadah has broken faith. An abomination has been committed in Israel and Yosalafiam for Yadah has profaned the sacredity of Adonai which he loves by Marion the daughter of a foreign god. This was a no-no. <coughs> Psalms 70 verse 5 says, But many all those who seek you to be glad and take joy in you may those who love your salvation say always God is great and gracious Nehemiah 13 verse 26 says wasn't it by doing things that Shalom king of Israel sinned there was no king like him among the nations and his God loved him our God Elohim and Elohim made him king over Israel Israel nevertheless the foreign woman caused even him to sin when we go outside God's our Adonai's way we are going to go wrong every single solitary time blessed be Adonai your God who took pleasure in you <coughs> to put you in his throne so that you could be king Adonai your Elohim because of your Adonai's love for Israel to establish them forever has made you king over them to administrate law and judgment. Second Corinthians 11 verse 11 says, Why wouldn't I accept your support? Is it that I don't love you? Adonai knows I do. <clears throat> Ephesians 2 and 4 says, But Adonai is so rich in mercy and loves us with such intense love. Colossians 2 verse 2 says, My purpose is that they may be encouraged that they may be joined together in love and they may have the riches diverted from a being assured of understanding the fully knowing Adonai's secret truth which is the Messiah. Second Thessalonians 1 verse 3 says we have to keep thinking Adonai for you always brothers and sisters as is approaching approach because your trust continues to grow gather and love you each have one another continues to increase <coughs> Hebrews 6 verse 10 says, For Adonai is not so unfair 
to, is to forget your work and the love you have showed for him in the past service to his people and in your presence service to James 1 verse 12 how blessed is the person who preserves through temptation for after he has passed the test he will receive his crown the life which Adonai has promised to those who love him <coughs> are you beginning to see a pattern here we only have a few more second Peter 1 verse 17 says for we were there when we received honor and glory from God from Adonai or so from El the father and the voice came to him from the gender of the second name saying this is my son in whom I love and am well pleased with him first John 2 and 5 says but if someone keeps doing what he says or what they say they truly love for God has been brought to its goal in them this is how we are to share that we unite with him first John 1 and f 1 first John 4 and 7 says beloved friends let us love one another because love is from Adonai and everyone who loves has Adonai or sorry the Messiah as his or sorry El as his father and knows Adonai Elohim those who do not love do not know God do not know Elohim because Elohim is love first John 4 and 9 says here is how Adonai showed his love among us Adonai sent his only son into the world that taught him we might have life first John this is in closing first John 4 dear brothers and sisters do not trust every spirits on the contrary test the spirits to see whether they come from Adonai because many false prophets have gone out into the world there is how you receive Hada Hadosh every spirit which acknowledges Yeshua the Messiah come as a human being is from El and every spirit which does not acknowledge Yeshua is not from El in fact this is the spirit of the anti Messiah you have heard that he is coming well he is here now in the world ready and he's growing okay his power is growing you children are from God and have overcome false prophets because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world they have from the world therefore 
they speak from the world's viewpoint and the world listens to them we are from God whoever knows God listens to us whoever is not from God doesn't listen to us this <coughs> is how we distinguish between the spirits of truth and the spirit of error beloved friends let us love one another because love is from Adonai and everyone who loves has Adonai El sorry El the father and knows El those who do not love do not know El because El is love here is how El did not love <laughs> here is how El showed his love among us El sent his only son into the world so that through him we might have everlasting life here is what love is not that we have loved El but that we loved us and sent his son to be Kephapharah from our sins <laughs> beloved friends brothers and sisters if this is how El loved us we likewise ought to love one another no one has ever seen El if we love one another El remains united with us and our love of him has been brought to its goal in us here is how we know that we remain united with he with us he has given us from his own spirit moreover we have seen and we testify that El has sent his Messiah as deliverer of the world. If someone acknowledges that Yeshua is the Son of God, God remains united with him. And if he is with God, also he have come to know and trust the love that God ha that El has for us. El is love, and those who remain in his love remain united with El. And El remains united with them. Here is how love has been brought to maturity with us. As the Messiah is, so are we in the world. This gives us confidence of the day of judgment. There is no fear in love. On the contrary, love that has achieved its goal <coughs> gets rid of fear because fear has to do with punishment. The person who keeps fearing has not been wrought to maturity in regard to love we ourselves love now because he first loved us if anyone says I love El and hates his brother he's a liar for if a person does not love his brother or sister whom he has seen, then he cannot love God, whom he has not seen. Yes, this is a commandment we have from him. Whoever loves El 
must love his brother and sister too. May God bless the reading of his word. If you're in the sound of my voice this day and <coughs> you have no hope and no way to understand what um, God has for us, R. R. L. has for us, R. L. Shaddai has for us, then if you pray this prayer, he will give you that guidance. Heavenly Abba, I come to you in prayer, asking for forgiveness and remission of my sins. I confess with my mouth and believe with my heart that Yeshua is your son, and that he died at the cross at Calvary, that I might be forgiven and receive eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. Abba, I believe that Yeshua rose from the dead and I ask him right now to come into my life and be my personal Lord and Savior. I repent of all of my sins and will worship him all the rest of the days of my life because he, your word is truth. I confess with my mouth that I am born again and am cleansed by the blood of Yeshua in Yeshua's name. I pray, Amen. Our Messiah, our El Shaddai, has a plan and a purpose for everything he does. Make no mistake, um, there is always a purpose and a plan for what is happening in our life. May the Messiah keep you safe and sound on this Sabbath day. My children, my children, follow my lead. Be not afraid, for thy rod and staff are with thee. Nothing can harm me. Abba, thank you for being here with us. Bless, guide, and strengthen and keep us in all that we say, in all that we do. We ask these things in Yeshua's name. Amen.